hello guys it is me again and this time around this video is about rice water so all over youtube everyone's been going crazy about rice water and i remember coming across it last year but i didn't take it seriously i was just like what rice water my hair whatever sort of thing i was like i'm just gonna jump onto onion juice instead and i basically did that twice last year and i was just like hmm, it's okay but never followed it through but this year, rice water has been going crazy. So I decided to do some research about it. And um, like I said, shout out to Curly Proverbs. She did a video on rice water and she created a Facebook group. So I was like, mm, let me just join this Facebook group. And this group has been amazing. The amount of knowledge that these ladies no, like the way they use rice, rice water in so many different ways is phenomenal and it has taught me so much. So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to try this rice water challenge. It was for, well, it is for 90 days because it's still going on. And I was like, let me just give it a try because there's been so many testimonials, so many results. So I was like, okay, let me try it. Rice water, it is... um good for a lot of things it is definitely good for hair growth that is what it's mainly known for and also it is a protein treatment as well it can be used as a protein treatment because there's lots of protein in it so um basically i have been using rice water in many different ways and i have got some short videos like the it's different from this video but i have short videos just to show how i have been using rice water Okay, so one of the ways that I have been using rice water is, of course, on my edges. You guys know the struggle that I had on one of my videos with my edges and the journey still continues. My edges are much better now, but I'm more cautious of my edges. And of course, I will always be focusing on my edges regardless. So this is a video that shows you how I use rice water on my edges. Okay guys, so I'm gonna spray the rice water on my edges. Excuse my little twist. This is like my nighttime routine. So it's so hard to film and spray at the same time. Just a little bit on my edges. Let's get that middle. And then I'm going to rub it with some black Jamaican castor oil. Okay, so I've got a little bit on my fingertips and I'm literally just gonna massage my edges. So another way I use rice water is as a pre-poo. So before the day before my wash day, I like to do hot oil treatments. So what I'm doing, what I do basically is I spray my hair with rice water in sections, then I top it up with oil. So the next video just demonstrates how I do that. So sorry guys, I look ridiculous. Spray a section with rice water, make sure it hits your scalp as well. And if I've got it, yeah, I have. And then I detangle and coat it with oil all over. So guys, I've shown you two ways on how I use rice water, but that's only two ways. Rice water can be used in so many ways and I use rice water in different ways. Another way I use rice water, I don't have a video to demonstrate this, sorry. I really wanted to just post this video because just basically out of excitement is I use rice water before I deep condition. So when I wash my hair or I co-wash my hair, after that, I spray my hair with rice water and then I follow it up with a deep conditioner. And this is my favorite way. Like this is my favorite method. Out of all the methods on how I use rice water, this one by far is the one that I love the most. It's the one that I see the most results. After when I do that and then Put the rice water put the deep conditioner then leave it in for like 30 40 minutes you can sit under a hooded dryer or a steamer when i wash my hair after it feels so soft so fluffy there is shine like i feel my hair is balanced in terms of how strengthened it is in and comp like and also how moisturized it is so it doesn't feel too like strengthened like too oh, protein overload that you know my hair is stiff and that but it like got a great balance i feel it's like everything in one so this is my mini testimonial like my hair's just more soft more fluffy excuse my hairstyle i think it's kind of gone wrong a little bit but you know i'm trying i'm trying but um 
that's my favorite method on how I use rice water. Another way on how I use rice water is putting it into my tea rinses. So when I, um, cause I'm doing the Ayurvedic method, like I've been mentioning, like I mentioned in my last video, I also add a bit of rice water in my tea rinse and let it sit as well. So that's another way. So I think I've mentioned four ways. So yeah, before I put the deep conditioner, uh, pre-poo, my edges, and ooh, my tea rinse. So that's four ways on how I use rice water. So you can see how rice water can be used in so many different ways. I know some naturals use rice, or it doesn't matter, naturals or whatever, they use um, rice water as a leave-in conditioner in the weekday, but be careful of that because it can, depending on your hair type, your porosity, it can be protein overload. So be careful. I've got low porosity here. It works for some low porosity, but I don't think it will work for me. So I don't tend to use it as a leave-in conditioner in the weekday. So that is the amazing thing about rice water. It's so versatile and it can be used in so many different ways. And saving the best to last. Maybe I should have actually done this first because it is the most important thing. But I also have another video on how I make my rice water because it's so important. Like there is, it's not difficult, it's not hard, but there is a process on how to make rice water. So watch out for the next video. Okay guys, um, forgive me in advance. I was actually meant to show you how many tablespoons of rice I put in this glass jar. But what I did is I put three tablespoons of basmati rice into this glass jar. And then I also added some water just to wash it, just to get get rid of all like the, you know, anything that's just impure in this. So that's what I've done so far. So I'm just gonna wash this out. Now I'm going to add some bottled water. So I've put it in a cup already, but yeah, I'm gonna add. Okay, so I am happy with the amount I've poured in. I've gone at least halfway up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put the lid on and let it ferment for 48 hours. I'm happy with this. I have now been fermenting this for 48 hours and I'm now going to pour it into my spray bottle. Also guys, before I forget, I have also added a bit of Evian water. I like to use bottled water anytime I'm doing a water mix and a bit of aloe vera juice just to give it a bit of moisture because aloe vera juice is very good for adding moisture as well so i've added these little bits into my mixture as well because rice water is very strong so it's a good thing if you also dilute it too. and just to give you a close-up it is this cloudy look that you are looking out for so guys i really hope you enjoyed my video i hope it was useful I didn't want to make it too long, but I really hope that what I have mentioned, it will help somebody. Rice water apparently promotes a lot of growth. At the moment, <laughs> it is a struggle for us kinks, us 4C girls. But I believe my hair is growing, or I think it's growing, you know. It's growing small, small, you know. It's growing, but I'm really just enjoying the volume, the shine, the thickness that rice water is doing. There goes my clock again. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But yeah, I have a very annoying clock in my house. But yeah, you know, I'm loving some growth. I think there's something. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to support a sister. And thank you.